Okay, so if you're using Google Sheets, a lot of times you have a lot of data in one worksheet, and then you have similar data in a second worksheet, and you may want to just identify which data is duplicated. So that's what we're going to do right now. We have on the left, let's just say our first worksheet, and then we're going to look up on the second worksheet any of the values that may be duplicated. So I've already highlighted them on the sheet uh, so that you can kind of follow along and see uh, what it's looking up and where it's finding it. Uh, and the function that we would use to do this is called VLOOKUP. So let's just I'll make sure cell D2 is active, which it is. And I'll start with an equal sign and we'll just type VLOOKUP. And the first thing that VLOOKUP wants to know is what value am I checking to see if it's duplicated? So let's select C2. So we're just going to use last name because most of the time the last name is more unique than the first name in this case. So uh, we got that. And then type in the range. And I'm going to make this just one worksheet at a time. It's going to work a little bit better. And then we'll select the range. So we'll go over to the other worksheet. Um, I went to the second worksheet and I selected it. And the thing that we want to do now is I'm going to use F4 as a shortcut, but you want to fix this range. So it's looking for the last name and I only want it to look in this one range every single time. I don't want this range to move down because then it'll just have blank rows at the end. Um, so we want to use F4. That's going to put dollar signs be before every column and row reference. So every time it looks for something on the first worksheet, it's still just going to stay in this range to look for it. I'll hit a comma. The index is, okay, so you've highlighted a range for me to look up inside of. Which column do you want? In this case, in the example that we're doing, we're only using one column. So just one for the first column. But if we were to have more than one column, the first one starts at one and then it goes to the right. So it's not looking for A, B, C, D. It's looking for which number of column in the start of the range. Use a comma, and then I always just put a false for the last argument. I'm gonna worry about it for now. Close that off and hit enter. So it gives you an error at first because it says, look, I've looked up the last name of Lydon and I didn't find it. So let's get that other worksheet up on the screen again so we can see. All right, here's both worksheets. The one on the left again is looking up, the one on the right. Let's take this formula, go in the lower right-hand corner of it, select that little square with our mouse so we can drag it down. And we're going to apply this VLOOKUP to every row in the original table. And remember, when it's looking at the range, we fixed it, so it's not shifting down every single time. It's just looking at the one range on the second worksheet. So let go of my left mouse key. And there's errors except for when it tries to look up these two last names. And these are the two last names that are duplicated on the second worksheet. So at this point, you could be done. Uh, you can, you have the option of wrapping this in a function called if in a. So you would check to see if it's in a, just make it blank. Otherwise, run the VLOOKUP function. That's a little bit too complicated probably to put in a video. But the other thing that you can do, so say this table is a couple thousand rows and you can't see all the results, you could just uh, select columns A through D, and go to data, and just select create a filter. And then you would go to column D, drop down this filter, and just say, uh, don't show me the NAs. Uncheck that, click OK. And then the only thing that you have remaining are the rows that are duplicated. Next up, we're just gonna show you a video about how to highlight duplicates. Maybe you just have one table, but in that table you have some duplicates. This will show you how to take care of that. Thanks.